Welcome back to the channel, it's Nine, and today we're going to be talking about God of War Ragnarok and how we've got a bit of an update here from a job posting that reveals quite a bit of detail. We're gonna explore that, break it down, find out what it all means. But before we get into that, we are almost at 8,000 subscribers. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it helps the channel a ton. Now let's talk about God of War Ragnarok and how a new job posting reveals some details of when we can expect God of War Ragnarok. So directly from the job posting, in quotes, we are looking for a seasoned gaming brand manager to join the global brand marketing team overseeing the God of War franchise out of the esteemed PlayStation Studios. The brand manager will lead the development and execution of the brand and commercial strategy for the biggest release of the year and continued oversight of the storied franchise post-release. I know, sounds pretty crazy. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't, but let's break it down, see what actually is being said here and what this all means. So this is specifically geared towards God of War. It looks as though they are going to start ramping up marketing for the game specifically with commercials and other avenues like social media and working with partners to increase the game's visibility. And there also is that little bit where they say the biggest release of the year, but I guess that could refer to next year possibly. But let's break down why I actually think it's related to this year. So if you didn't already know, game development typically has seven phases. We have planning, pre-production, production, testing, pre-launch, final stage of development, and lastly, launch and post-launch support. Sometimes they are named different things, but typically it's seven stages. So this would put God of War at the pre-launch stage, which is just before launching the game. This is the time for them to show us new content, then boost visibility through marketing. We also know from the last time Corey Barlaw gave us an update, they were refining and polishing the game so it can be perfect for launch. And that sounds like final stages of development as well. So. That, that would come actually after uh, pre-launch. It would be when they're marketing, pushing the hype, getting everybody excited, and then during that phase, and I guess it could happen simultaneously, they would be working on polishing and fine-tuning the game, which is what it sounded like when Corey gave us that update. So I feel like these two kind of go hand in hand in a lot of ways. Although, again, I'm not a game developer, so I could be wrong about that, but that's kind of my understanding after reading up about it. So I think that this is a direct sign or a very clear sign that we are going to see God of War Ragnarok drop this year. I believe that there's no way this gets delayed, especially after hearing from multiple staff members that this is coming out in 2022. The hype is coming, Ragnarok is coming, and I'm ready for it. I can't wait to see this game. When it comes to when we could see this, we've talked about this a lot already, and I'm gonna be quick and brief about it, I think that we're going to see this in June. I feel like June is the month that we're going to see this game. And whether it comes in a state of play, whether it comes at Summer Game Fest, whether it comes from a spring PlayStation showcase, I think we're gonna see this game. My hope is a spring showcase and a worst case scenario, which is not really a worst case scenario, I guess, it would be a state of play or Summer Game Fest as they have worked with Jeff Keighley in the past. That could also be another avenue that they take to show off some God of War footage. And it would make sense, right? You got that whole push in June for gaming news, gaming announcements, trailers. Like June is the month of gaming. It has been for a very long time. Although E3 is not present anymore and it's been canceled, People are doing their own events and they're doing their own showcases. So we could really still see something in June. And I feel like it's the fine prime time for them to do that. Typically, they like to do things after Xbox. So I think if they're going to do a showcase, it's likely going to come after Xbox. But if they're just going to show God of War footage, then it's probably going to be through a state of play or the Summer Game Fest. But then again, we got to think about how Final Fantasy ties into that, which is why I'm heavily leaning towards some sort of showcase, which would be awesome. It's really what the fans want. It's what I want. But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. I'd love to hear from you. What do you make of this new job posting? Do you think we're going to see God of War Ragnarok drop this year? Or do you think it's going to get pushed into 2023? How do you think that's going to be revealed? A PlayStation Showcase, a State of Play, a Summer Games Fest? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you have not subscribed already, please support the channel. It means so much to me. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos. And hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description and share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.